1955, soon after Allison Hayes arrived in Hollywood, her agent wanted her to get an interview with Cecil DeMille. He took her to lunch on the Paramount lot and the great director noticed her. She resembled the drawing he had made of Sephora, the wife of Moses in the Ten Commandments. The mill asked her to come to his office. There, under the orders from her agent, she didn't mention that she was under contract to Universal International. The mill had her work on a scene with Henry Wilcoxon. When the mill was informed that Allison was an UI employee, he threw her and her agent off the lot. Allison Hayes, born Mary Jane Hayes, was an American actress who became Miss Washington, D.C. in 1949. Hayes took jobs in early television in Washington before moving to California in 1953 to begin her acting career. Allison Hayes acted in a string of movies from 1954 to 1965. One of the earliest films was the Universal Series entry, Francis Joins the Wax, 1954 with Mammy Van Dorn. In addition, Hayes made many guest appearances on popular TV programs in the 1950s and 1960s. She worked with her friend Raymond Burr numerous times on the TV series Perry Mason. She was a stunningly beautiful actress who had previously been a model. Hayes earned a break in her career when she signed a contract with Universal Studios, as previously mentioned, but she didn't become known to horror fans until 1957, when she accepted a role as a supporting player in The Undead. The movie was an early effort from Roger Corman, who filmed this low-budget special in about six days. It was money tight, and when it's tight, you have to save money, and one thing the creative director did was he took an old supermarket and converted it into a movie set for the undead. Hayes appeared in another horror film in 1957, The Rather Forgettable Zombies of Mortal. In this picture, Hayes plays Mona Harrison, the flirtatious wife of one of the men partaking in the expedition for lost treasure. The group is hoping to secure a box of diamonds contained on a sunken ship only to realize the crewmen, while dead, have returned as zombie-like creatures. The two 1957 films led Hayes to sign a contract for another B-movie that would come out one year later, a film that would become her best-known performance. In 1958, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman made its premiere. Hayes takes on a starring role here, playing wealthy socialite Nancy Fowler, Archer, who's mired in a bad marriage to an unfaithful husband while driving on a country road. Archer undergoes an encounter with an alien force which will soon result in her growing to incredible size. After that, Allison was staple in a classic B-grade horror film. She was an exploitation classic, The Hypnotic Eye, which had a trailer showing an alleged hypnotist mesmerizing a volunteer as he stuck along needles in her arms. This was some of the typical ballyhoo going on at the time. However, Allison was a versatile actress. She did drama very well as when she guest starred on the television series The Untouchables. And, of course, uh, she did a highly rated episode, The Rusty Heller Story. Allison also had a flair for comedy when she demonstrated when she appeared in the Dean Martin film Who's Been Sleeping in My Bed in 1963. Her last film appearance was with the king himself, Elvis Presley, in Tickle Me in 1965, with a hilarious script by the legendary writer Elwood Ullman. Sadly, the original 50-foot woman passed away just a few days before her 47th birthday on February 27, 1977. Following a 13-year illness that forced her into retirement, Jack Randall Earls wrote, Her lead poisoning and subsequent leukemia were the direct result of a health food supplement that was sold to her over a period of many years. Its contents gave her lead poisoning. Her efforts at reform caused the FDA to re-examine its policy on health food supplements. Hayes is buried in Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. And if you guys want to see more b Cyclopedia episodes, click on the link below or subscribe. Click on that bell, get notifications. We do a new b Cyclopedia Tuesday. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking, and sharing. Who's your daddy? Be the envy of your friends. Wear the sexy cosplay t-shirt. Wear it on a podcast. Wear it to convention. It's comfortable. Heck, even sleep in it.
Your girlfriend will love it. You will love it. Click on the link below and get your sexy cosplay t-shirt shipped to you.